I am yours. You're the only person who has the authority to question me. What if my daughter had gone missing and didn't come back to this house last night? Nobody will say it's not Lisa or Ben's, you know, concern. The police will come here and arrest everyone and take them to the station for questioning. So, when next she decides to be stupid and irresponsible, she should remember that others will bear the brunt of it. So, I ask you again, Vivian, where were you last night? The chief, sir, she's not my responsibility and you don't have that right to ask her that question again where, where she has been or who she has been with. It's basically between me and her. So, she answers to me and, and not you, sir. Wonderful. Now you're starting to talk like a man. Congratulations, Mark. You started having some brains functional up in your head. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. And what are you doing here, Stella? I heard you have put my daughter in a position to answer questions which you shouldn't answer in public. And I came to ask why. And who are you to question me? I am your wife. She is my daughter. Why on earth would you want to embarrass her daughter like that? What kind of nonsense is this one? Did you just call me or what I am doing nonsense? Uh, it's not nonsense. Eh? Huh? Why would you do something like that? Huh? You want Ben and Lisa to laugh at her? With all due respect, ma, nobody is laughing at her. What she did is appalling. How can a married woman leave her home, sleep outside, and lie about it? And you, her mom, is taking her sides. What is this creature? Is this a mosquito buzzing or something? What gives you the temerity to open your gutter of a book of cavity to talk to me? If you try it again, you open that filthy mouth of yours again, I will throw punches. I am the one who is going to throw punches at you if you do not reverse, get out of that door and get out of here now! What? I came to see my daughter. And I'm here for your daughter, so get out! Ah, that's not fair. Not fair. Ah. If you do not get out of this place right now, what I will do to you will be what is not fair. And who are you to follow me to this place and tell me what to do and what not to do? Haven't you done enough damage? Mark, are you not ashamed of yourself? You called this woman. Didn't she tell you that her daughter was with her? She is here supporting her daughter's evil. And you are here dancing to their tune, Mark. What kind of a disgrace are you, Mark? I, sir, I'm not, I am not a disgrace. I'm not a disgrace. All I'm asking is that she's no longer your responsibility. She's my responsibility. You don't have the right to question her in front of some people. She is my responsibility. What did you say, Mark? So what I'm trying to say is that she is my responsibility. So I'm taking responsibility for my wife. So sir, I am sorry you do not have the right to tell us what not to do or what to do. Bravo! Odogu! <laughs> that is my son-in-law talking! So chief, have you heard it now? Your daughter is now a married woman. So stay out of her marital issues. Let her husband handle it. He's now the man in her life. Mark, I have always taken you like my son. I have always done that which you cannot do for yourself. Because of your stupidity today, you ask me to hands off this whole thing? It's fine. No problem. I will hands off and I will leave you and your wife to your marriage. Whatever you do with your wife is your business. And when the chiefs are down, don't come calling me. Congratulations, Vivian. You went out, you slept out, you came back in. You're doing well. You see this thing you're doing in this house? I am not supporting you. Neither am I going to stop you. Since Mark has said he's now taking responsibility of your actions. Ben, you 
your sister and your mother. Anytime you need to talk to me, do not hesitate to reach out to me. But you see, anything that has to do with Mark and his wife, I am not involved. Stella, you are here to destroy what is left of this home. I'm not going to stand in your way. I'm not going to disturb you. Go ahead and do as you wish. Sir, sir, I didn't, I didn't mean it the way you said it, sir. Where are you going? Hey, young man, complete what you started. Like this now, what did I do? Mama, what's happening here now? Ellen and Chris. I am the one that brought him. You are a disgrace, Mark. You are a disgrace. I told you, your father. I heard of time. I told him. I told him that that master will always be an outsider. I told him that the tantamount to monkey, even if you like, take monkey to abroad, he cannot avoid three. Mark, so this is what you have reduced yourself to. Mark, because I did not attend your wedding, you think my eyes have gone off this family. I know the truth you are trying to avoid. I know that truth you are hiding. And that is what I am here to stand for. So you think that changing the will and bribing the lawyer will change anything? Before your father died, he categorically told me that he does not trust that dubious lawyer. That was the reason why he made three copies of that way. He put one in the bank, in the safe. Oh yes! And gave me one. And left one with that lawyer. So, this is how you plan to swindle your family. A family that has been there for you! Uncle, I have no idea what you speak of. Let that lap, where that lap will come from, where that one will come from. You don't know what I'm speaking of. An illegitimate child, a product of mistake, brought into this family and gave this precious woman. And she brought you in, embraced you, gave you love and support because you marry an imbecile. That is the reason why you want to change everything. No, get love and support. Eh? Who is an imbecile? You sit down! Sit down there! Are you an imbecile? Who are you to talk to me? Your mother in law came to the village on her knee, begging others for forgiveness of what you did on the first night of your marriage. And I stood beside her. What did she get now in return? I am not Mark, and you will not try that nonsense with me. If he decides to stick with you, it's his own cup of tea. But as an elder in this family, I will throw you out of here, and I can gather all the elders against you and against this nonsense that you call to marriage. Don't try me. This family gave him an identity. Okay. He would have been left with his mother on the street. And now he thinks he can make decisions. He thinks he can pay someone to change the will. Oh, your father saw something like this ahead of time. And that was the reason why he never wanted that way to be read. Because he knows that today that way will be read. Something like this will come up. Oh, Mark. Wait, wait. Oh, he just insulted your father's memory. I had to do what I had to do. Based on what? Based, based on what? Are you trying to steal from us? This house you are sitting down and dragging with your wife belong to bed. You have the one your father way to you. And the every other thing is way to your mother to be shared as she wish 
I'm concerning the company. Every one of you have 20% in that company. So if all of them gather their 60%, what do you have with 20? Who? Who? Look at me! Who on the company? They are. Hmm? Yeah, they do. I will not accept that. Shut up! Who are you to take that decision? You are just a wife married in this family. And all these things have been put in place before you came. Uncle, um, please, take, take it easy. She's my wife. Stop raising your voice. But turn that fire that your mouth, Mark. Ah, look at this thing! Asking me to leave my own house within two weeks. Anyway, as it is right now, we all know what the will says. Mark, you only have just 20% of the company. And this house doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Ben. So tell me, tell everyone, when are you and your useless wife packing all this house? When? <laughs> you flash. We are not going anywhere. You are not still in the position to decide that. It is the owner of the properties in this position. Ben, my son, what do you want? Let us hear you. Uncle, thank you very much for clarifying everything. And like Uncle has said, this house belongs to me. And if you ask me what I want, Uncle, what I want is for Mark and this his senseless wife and pack their things within 24 hours and get out of my house. Mm. What? You heard him, you're not deaf. The rightful owner of this house has spoken and he said that he wants you and your wife to pack your things and get the hell out of this house. Mama, did you hear that? I heard it loud and clear. Get out! You and this your useless wife, go in there, pack your things. And vamos! Out of this house. Out! from you today. I will pressure you. I will take it one step at a time. And I am sending you my account details now. Three million naira should be transferred immediately. 24 hours. 24 hours. What are we supposed to do in 24 hours? I cannot contest that will. That is the original will. Vivian, what are we going to do? Vivian. What? I said, what are we going to do? Where do we go from here? We have only 24 hours. Look, listen. I'm not going anywhere. Nobody is going anywhere. Listen to me, just... I have so much on my head right now. What I know is that I'm not going anywhere. You have so much on your head. Did I hear you say you have so much on your head? Do you know that we have only 24 hours and we're going to be thrown out of this house? Where do you want us to go and sleep? Under the bridge? Are you stupid? Are you seriously calling me names right now? Listen to me. I said I have so much on my head. I'm under so much pressure. So please do not add to it. Come on, be a man for once and sort this out. Sort it out somehow. I should sort this out. Do you know that it was you that brought us into this condition? You brought this upon us. You dragged us to this level. And you're saying I should sort it out. You made me fight my family. You made me change the wheel. And now you're saying I should sort it out. I'm the, I'm, I'm the man. Are you serious? My friend, shut up! Just shut up! I already told you that I have too much on my plate. Nothing is going in my favor right now. Everything is going south. 
going sideways and, and, and I don't want this, this kind of pressure from you. But listen to me. If you do not stop pressurizing me and pushing me, you will not like what will happen. What do you mean by everything is not even going in your favor? What, what does that even mean? And by the way, where did you sleep last night? Are you seriously asking me that question right now? Yes, I am asking you that question right now. Where did you sleep last night? If you keep pushing me, Mark, getting out of this house in the next 24 hours will be the least of your problems. I promise you that. Sense. 